Hi, my name is Dr. Prince Francis Origa. I'm the Registrar Institute for Humanitarian Studies and Social Development. I also double as the Special Advisor to the Governor of Abia State on Humanitarian Affairs, NGO Matters and Social Development. I'm a UN Humanitarian and Peace Ambassador, uh, having graduated with uh, first class from the United Nations Institute for Training and Research. And of course, the, the University of Catalonia in Spain. I have been in the field of humanitarianism for years. Uh, I grew up being a humanitarian, practicing humanitarianism. And of course, uh, you cannot write the story of humanitarianism in Nigeria without uh, a mention to my contribution to humanitarianism. Uh, I became a UN volunteer. Extensively, I worked uh, to contribute to reduction of uh, various social vices in Nigeria. Um, of course, uh, working with uh, the Lagos State AIDS Control Agency, where I was a member of the Implementation and Advisory Committee under the Office of the Governor then. By 2014, I was uh, appointed uh, again into the Implementation Committee and Advisory Committee, uh, which we call uh, uh, State Emergency uh, Management uh, Committee under the former governor T.A. Oji of uh, Abia State Ochendo. And in the course of uh, those uh, contributions I was making, I won the United Nations uh, Peace Builder Scholarship Award by the end of uh, 2013. And in 2014, commenced the program uh, with the UN. And of course, uh, graduated. I was actually the only Nigerian and I'm returning back to the Institute for Humanitarian Studies and Social Development. Uh, the Institute itself has been the, in the forefront of uh, highlighting and, uh, all humanitarian challenges in Nigeria, particularly serving as an intellectual hub, uh, a platform that, of course, was set up to professionalize the uh, non-profit and the humanitarian sector. Uh, the Institute was launched in uh, August 12th, 2010 at the Lagos Sheraton Hotel where the certificate of uh, registration of the Institute was presented by the former uh, Commonwealth Secretary General, Chief Emeka Yoko, who represented the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Uh, His Excellency uh, Goodluck Ebele Jonathan, GCFR. And this certificate was presented then to the pioneer president, late Ambassador Shegun Olushala, who happened to be the first president uh, of uh, this great institute. And um, we had entered into a memorandum of understanding with the UN Institute for Training and Research which of course is the global body of the United Nations saddled with the responsibility of uh, training and certifying people, government, at the regional, national and state, including individuals. And then of course providing information in other areas uh, that has to do with uh, humanitarianism. And so the Institute for Humanitarian Studies and Social Development took the responsibility of helping to bring intellectual direction and uh, professionalism to the humanitarian sector. And counting from 2010 till date, the Institute has remained very consistent in building the capacities of individuals. It's important to mention that in this part of the world, we don't have conventional universities or institutions of higher learning where you can go and study um, NGO management, humanitarianism and all of that. Except for in recent time you have uh, University of Ibadan coming up with uh, 
courses on humanitarian and refugee studies and of course they have approached us actually for an alignment and for you know professional partnership you know, for their students who are undertaking the course in that area so because of these gaps that exist in the humanitarian and non-profit sector the institute for humanitarian studies and social development was established to help individuals who would want to build their careers or who would want to function or be involved in humanitarian services to actually understand that there are global best practices in working in the humanitarian area and given this the institute for humanitarian studies and social development designed a well thought out and a well researched curriculum and that curriculum was done in partnership with the abia state university where 13 man professors you know sat together to develop a curriculum that suits global best practices these are some areas that ngos very thematic areas that different ngos uh, like to operate so it's important that when one is getting involved either you want to work with international organizations or you want to have your own NGO or you want to work with any non-governmental organization it's important to understand uh, what it takes to actually function in that area the Institute also is a professional humanitarian body where we allow members to subscribe after going through the courses you become a member you get certified and get inducted as a professional member uh, so that you can be seen as a professional humanitarian practitioner and then we also induct fellows ranging from professional humanitarian fellows to honorary associate fellows to honorary doctoral fellows uh, these are people that we have seen that have actually distinguished themselves you know in the course of in the humanitarian space based on their outstanding contributions and services they have been rendered institute is also involved in some community humanitarian works and interventions and these community humanitarian interventions for instance uh, during the covid lockdown we had opportunity of partnering with uh, greater ways nigeria and uh, uh, 3m to provide palliatives to various communities especially in abia state in river state in abia state we went to 22 villages where people received uh, various uh, palliatives that to help them cushion the effect of the covid 19 pandemic uh, the institute is also involved in research where we expect that our fellows uh, engage in topical areas are uh, given some issues to research on and to help us understand various dynamics in humanitarianism again the institute is also involved in public awareness sensitization uh, public education one of such is the annual humanitarian public lecture where we provide a platform for various stakeholders and key actors to come together interact and bring in uh, burning humanitarian issues to the forefront or to the fore burner so that people can actually engage exchange ideas exchange views and will seek or prefer solutions to some of those uh, crises facing us as uh, as a nation and as a people the institute has uh, a whole lot of uh, individuals humanitarian icons who are well groomed in this sector uh, you talk about some of our fellows that we have produced you talk about some of the individuals who are found in the governing council of the institute take for instance his excellency the president of the institute his excellency ambassador damo babangida ibrahim is a seasoned philanthropist and a seasoned accountant a seasoned diplomat who has been nigerian ambassador to the republic of guinea uh, before now and also headed as a dg of uh, jai's charity and development foundation so we can't have uh, people of such caliber in the board and the council of the institute and the institute will be performing less trained over 5120 persons 
who are now certified as professional humanitarian practitioners and again and of course in the in the next uh, in this year say, uh, induction ceremony we're also going to be inducting over 100 persons that have been trained in this year uh, 2022 and so the institute is opening that clarion call making that clarion call to everybody who would want to understand what it takes to function as professional humanitarians, to subscribe to becoming other members of the institute through the uh, membership uh, cadres that will have opportunities that we have made available, or subscribe to take part in the professional proficiency certificate class. You can also have advanced uh, certifications in various areas like UN diplomatic tracks in conflict resolution. UN human security approach, um, peace and conflict, UN, um, of course, we have uh, social works and um, child care, uh, humanitarian leadership dynamics, NGO management, proposal writing, and the rest of them. And so, for everyone who is involved practicing humanitarianism, um, based on our memorandum of understanding with the UN Institute for Training and Research, one of the best ways and the avenue the UN uh, Institute for Training and Research uses in recognizing individuals who are practicing in this field is to go through the training of the institutes. And of course, um, we have other opportunities that people can be part of, like joining to become a volunteer of the Institute or run your internship with the Institute. And of course, we are using this opportunity to call on uh, partners, donors, and government agencies who are related, of course, who have relevant uh, stake in humanitarianism to join hands with the institute and collaborate with the institute in ensuring that humanitarianism is advanced in nigeria the very present uh, uh, minister for humanitarian affairs was in 2017 inducted and uh, inducted a distinguished humanitarian fellow by this institute when she had not even become a minister for humanitarian affairs and nema and the rest of them have been key partners of this institute my name is Ambassador Prince Francis Origa, PhD. I want to call on everyone out there to join the humanitarian movement because humanitarianism is everyone's business. Humanitarianism entails everything that has to do with human existentialism. It entails reaching out to the poor. It entails reaching out to that person in need around you. It is service above self and not self above service and so this is a clarion call to everyone that we should all join hands to make the world a better place by actually reaching out to those who are not as privileged as we are thank you